A laundry hamper can be much more. In a few simple steps, it becomes a trendy and expensive looking end table. Organize your bathroom by adding shelf space. Turn a clear iPhone case into a personalized gift. Spice up that hot holiday drink. I mean really spice it up. We're using cayenne pepper to create the perfect cup of cocoa. Welcome to Fix This. I am Bennett. We've got Raquel, Kayleen, and Becky. Hello. And we've got some projects going on here today. Serious projects. And the first one, it was inspired by Kayleen. <laughs> <laughs> this is her iPhone case right here. Kayleen. Hey, look at that. Look at the cracks. Ooh, I think you need an iPhone case. <laughs> but not just any simple iPhone case. You need a smartphone case, a photo case. Ooh. Those right there online can cost more than $50. So I'm going to show you how to make your own smartphone case. Uh, great gifts or just, you know, if you want to walk around with a cool collage. Uh, Kayleen, we're going to make one of all of us for you. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> it, it, we can make it for 5 to $10. Well, here's something, you know, that was also inspired by me. Um, I, I use a lot of tools, but they're all in the garage. And what I've really struggled with is actually finding a way to organize my hair dryer and the curling iron and make it fit. And so I threw together a very simple shelf. This is very basic. And just show you how to mount a very simple floating shelf. And I have to tell you, it was a on the fly project and I'm very happy with the speed that it was completed in. And now, uh, gosh, my bathroom is well, sort of a little bit more organized. I definitely don't pretend to be nearly as talented as you in the woodworking um, department. But, but, I did a project where I thought outside the box store, the big box store, and I made this table. Yes, yes, I know. I did make it. This is, friends, out of a laundry basket and just a simple piece of wood that the guys at the big box store cut down for me. We personalized it to fit the space and it looks really modern. You know, even after the giggles that I got when I proposed this idea at the meeting. We did not envision a laundry basket becoming a table, but I have to say I'm really happy with your results. Thank you, Raquel. And it's getting kind of chilly out, so a hot cup of hot cocoa sounds really delicious and Fix This staffer Mallory Davis is going to show us how to make some recipes that are kind of also outside the box. They involve cayenne pepper Ooh. and a little bit of orange. They are delicious. I tried them myself and these are great for holiday parties and maybe just on a nice cold night. Now let's head over to the workshop to make your own personalized smartphone case. All right, thanks a lot. And Raquel, you can make your way over here because you're going to make one too. You know, they can be so expensive, uh, up to $50. Patty was saying she's seen some for around $100. Smartphone case, we're going to show you how to make this right here, a personalized smartphone case with your own photos, anything you pretty much want. Um, and it, cost, it can cost about five bucks. I got these cases right here. Um, at Best Buy for three fifty. Nice. I bought this one for fifty, so wow. clearly I could have had <laughs> maybe twenty of them. <laughs> well, we're gonna make you one today, and you can change out the pictures. And yours, you know, about five to ten dollars. You can buy them online, free shipping. So it, it's really great. But I first want to show you. You buy these cases, like mm -hmm. I said, you can buy them online. They'll ship them to you. You know, specific to your iPhone, your smartphone, your Galaxy, whatever. And once you get the case, um, you take the measurements, and then. We're going to show you how to make the photos that go inside. You want to go to an online, um, you know, picture editing uh, software. I like PicMonkey. It's at PicMonkey.com, and we have some photos we want to show you of that. So right there, you go to PicMonkey.com, um, and the first you go to the design to the top, then you click on the four by six in the design. And that creates the size you need for your phone. On the left side of the screen is where you can add some backgrounds, you can add your pictures, you can even add some text. And most smartphones are about three by six inches, so it's good to measure your phone first to find out the length. Then you wanna make sure you leave room on your side. So six inches long, oh, and then, then you, you make your, your own ruler, collage. Okay. And then you make your own collage that goes about a half inch on each side so it fits in your smartphone. Yeah. So give a little room on the bottom, give about a half inch on each side, type in your text, voila, there you have it. And then you uh, basically send it, I, I sent mine to Walgreens and the photos cost about 20 to 25 cents each. And 
Voila, we have there them right here. Are. And nice. I'm going to have you guys Love it. do okay. it from here. So I made pictures for everybody here. Raquel, we took some of her family photos, mm -hmm. a collage there. And this is a photo you actually took yourself. Yeah, I have some landscape ones that you made for me. Patty sent me a picture of her dog. I made two okay, versions I here. Picture of the puppy. And then Aww. you got your stuff over here. Yeah. I made a collage for you here. Right and here. I put a little love on the bottom there. So that. now what we want you to do is take your case. Mm -hmm. I have the clear case. You which, have the clear case. And I don't know about you, but my kids, my teenage kids, they change these constantly. They yeah. want a new case all the time. So this is a way to do that without spending a lot of money on the case. 25 cents to And they can customize it photo. to the team they follow mm -hmm. or whatever. So I want you all to take your um, cases, okay. put it mm -hmm. on top of your photo where you want it to be on your photo. And it's okay. On the back side or the no, on the front, front side? side. Okay. Yeah. Or you can do it on the back side, but it's better to see on the front side oh, here. Yeah. Do not cut out the top left part right here. Sure where the right camera here. is. Yeah, don't okay, cut don't that out cut right yet until you're done first cutting out your photo. Okay. okay. So and do you just mark it then? Yeah, just take your pencil and trace. mark it. And then once you're done tracing, you're going to want to cut on the inside of your trace. And then they don't fit in really well right away in the case. So then you just keep just slowly cutting it down. And then once that part is done, so you're cutting out yours. Yeah. You then take your photo. If we can get a close-up shot, I think, on me, I'll, I'll, you take that, you go, and you put it in. So you see your photo, so like here's Izzy's photo. Of course I have Izzy, <laughs> the dog. So then now you can take your pencil and you can go in here and make a hole. And you really want to, for this, if you want to do the hole, you can cut with some little sharp scissors like this. We use some nail scissors. Mm -hmm. I found out right here an X-Acto knife does not work well. Do not try an X-Acto knife. Oh. But the easiest thing that I found out with this is you just, if you want to just take it out and just cut like a little rectangle at the top. I'm having a hard time getting that out. I don't know what happened when you used the X-Acto knife. What did it do? It started ripping the, like the film of the print off. Oh, okay. I'm having to so cut mine a couple of times. And so. you want to keep cutting it down. And for someone who maybe doesn't have the software or doesn't know how to use it, there's a different way you showed me too of how to just print out the photos in a tiny space and then Yeah, so right over here on. with Raquel, we just took some what's called stack. It's paper you can get at the craft store. Uh, it's really inexpensive and took little small pictures and cut those and glued those on if you can't figure out the PicMonkey on PicMonkey.com. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. I'm going to make this for my whole family for, for what, Christmas. I was going to say, you yeah, can stick it in a stocking. What a great idea. It could be a party gift. No, I love this. And there's okay. so many fun ways to do there's the design. There's my puppy. Okay. <laughs> so you got it your puppy It sort of looks home. like artwork. But it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> or a gorilla. Right. I'm not sure. <laughs> Of course, we're going to post all this information, how to make it yourself, at 9news.com slash fix it. See how cute that is, Aww. honey? And then you've got your little puppy. You can yeah. kiss her every day. All right, step by step <laughs> instructions at 9news.com slash fix this. I love kissing my phone. I know. Yeah, all the time. I There's no germs there. at all. <laughs> no <laughs> germs. That's odd. <laughs> don't have enough room in your cabinets? Kayleen is going to show us how to make a simple floating shelf for your bathroom. You'll love how organized you'll be. And later, how to turn a laundry hamper into a trendy end table. Fix This continues next on 9 News. Welcome back to Fix This, presented by Home Advisor, the free and easy way to find the best home pros. Are you looking for help with your Fix This project? Home Advisor's project advisors are taking calls now to help you find the right pro to get your project done. The call in number is 1 800 503 0119. My name is Kayleen McCabe, and the reason I'm in the bathroom by myself because it's a really tight spot. But listen, I finally lost my mind with frustration because I had my curling iron and my hair dryer and my brush everywhere. So. I made a really, really simple caddy that I'm gonna to mount to the shelf. I took my hole saw and basically just test fit my curling iron to see which one fit the best, and then drilled the holes into a very, very simple shelf that I've made. Just some really easy screws in the background. So now I'm going to mount this to the wall so all of my hair stuff isn't all over the floor. I'm going to use these simple brackets, and what this will do is provide a sturdy area for the bracket to attach into my shelf, but then the bracket will also be nicely attached to the wall as well, so my shelf doesn't come tumbling down. 
I'm gonna mark where my brackets go. I'm gonna pull my shelf off. I'm gonna realign where the bracket goes and mark where the hole for my fasteners will need to go. Now I know there isn't a stud or anything to secure to attach this to, so I am going to use these plastic mollies to use as anchors to attach my brackets into the wall. Three drawer full of mollies. My brackets. Because I use the plastic anchors and not just regular screws, this bracket is solid on the wall. So the last step is actually to attach the shelf into the brackets. All right, that's it. This is a super easy way to organize your hair products in a bathroom, but I know this is really simple. So I would love to see what the viewers at home have done to organize their bathroom storage. My directions for this will be at 9news.com slash fix this. That's about it, I'm ready to do my hair. Add style to the decor in any room with a trendy end table like this one. It takes a custom cut piece of wood and you'll really love what I used for the table legs. Also ahead, Cayenne pepper is best in chili, right? Hold on, there's more. We're gonna show you how to use it to make a great cup of hot cocoa. Hi everyone, when you're shopping at a big box store, you can get furniture for relatively inexpensive prices, but what you don't get is the chance to customize it. So Becky here is gonna show us how to make some furniture out of something you might already have in your home. Right? Who would have guessed? So cool. A laundry basket. We're gonna add a little bit of paint. We're gonna take this guy out. We'll put on a top and it's gonna be a beautiful table. You ready to get started? I can't wait to get started. I wanna see how this is gonna work. All right, let's go. Okay, so now we're outside, and here's all the things you're gonna need. You'll want a, a metal base laundry basket holder, but then you can also get at the big box store these pre-cut or have them cut to fit yourself wood pieces for the tabletop, spray paint, uh, a little bit of wood stain, and some glue. Awesome, so you just have to take out the hamper part? Yeah, of course. which on this one is really easy to do, so we're just gonna. And what I really like about this project, you can just use it as is. You don't even have to paint it at first, you can just add this unstained tabletop for a modern look. Right. And it, it works really well. <laughs> Make it super easy on yourself and then you can take out this stuff. All you need That's is the glue and you're done. We're gonna customize it a little bit more. So we're gonna start with the base. Okay. I thought it would be nice if we spray painted it a dark brown color. All right. Okay, so we've got our gloves and our safety glasses on. It's not too go. windy, just a little breezy. We're gonna hold this about a foot away. And then you just see how it goes on and you can do it Pretty okay. light like that, and you'll do multiple layers. You wanna try? Yes. You just don't want drips. That's what we're trying to avoid. Okay, so just light layers then. Yep. All right. All right, so next up, we're gonna let this dry. We spray painted it, I think it's fully covered. We're gonna let this dry, and now we're gonna stain. <laughs> I picked like a nice medium color, because I thought that would go pretty Yeah, I think it's gonna match green. perfectly with yeah. that. So Raquel is using one of Kayleen's tips by taking an old sock and she is just going to dip, dip that in and apply. Okay. Yep. Just so like there that. you go. Just like that. What's really cool and what we did that we didn't show you before is that we conditioned this wood before we stained it. And what that does is allows this to not have any bad splotches. It actually makes the stain go on really evenly. Brings out the wood grain pretty nicely too. So we can put on as much or as little stain as we want. And then once it's dry, then you can apply another coat if you want. But I like the way this is turning yeah, out. Yeah, I like this. We're gonna let this dry. I would say about 30 minutes. Okay, and next we're going to glue the tabletop on. And then we're gonna let that dry and it should be done. All right, Raquel, very carefully make sure that it's, it goes on even. I'm just trying to make sure that it looks nice and straight. 
Yeah, I have to say I'm genuinely impressed because <laughs> I really you. didn't believe it would work, but it looks really cool. You know, there was a, I remember there being <laughs> lots of laughter around the Fix This crew when I proposed this idea, but I love it. I think Thank it looks table. great. Yep, nice little table for you to display something, obviously not heavy but display something really cool in your house. Awesome, and we're gonna have all the directions on 9news.com slash fix this. Thanks, Becky. You're welcome. What do cayenne pepper, honey, and chocolate have in common? They're all ingredients in our hot cocoa bar. If you have a holiday party coming up or just want to impress your friends and family, stick around for some flavor combinations sure to excite those taste buds. Welcome back to Fix This, presented by Home Advisor, the free and easy way to find the best home pros. Are you looking for help with your Fix This project? Home Advisor's project advisors are taking calls now to help you find the right pro to get your project done. The call in number is 1 800 503 0119. I'm here with Mallory Davis, our resident Fix This staffer who has the best drinks for us and it's getting kind of cold out so she's going to show us how to make some hot chocolate but just not any hot chocolate a hot chocolate bar with specialty chocolates yes and by specialty chocolates I mean dark chocolate which is my <laughs> favorite but all right so basically this would be fun I think for like a party or kids like kids love making a mess so this is the ideal fun messy party thing. all right so how do we get started okay so you start with already made hot chocolate okay and your base so yeah just powdered whatever if you want to do like super fancy hot chocolate that's great too um so your base is milk okay and so what you do just the milk obviously helps make it creamy and i have three different um hot chocolate styles to do so it's fun flavors all right what's this first station this one is orange dark chocolate so i have awesome yep so you would just put your milk in okay however much you want and then a uh, little bit of sugar to make it sweet. The orange zest, there's little zests under these oranges. Oh, Ooh, I see them. How do yes. you make the zest? I use a cheese grater, but they have zesters that you can buy and I just, the cheese grater works just as well. Awesome. And then dark chocolate, you just put a few in, however much to flavor. Okay, I'll just add a couple exciting. in. Yep, great. And so all right, what's our next excellent. station? So this guy right here is an Aztec one. It's kind of like a take on Mexican hot chocolate. Okay. Which the key ingredient for this one is cayenne pepper. I don't know how I feel about pepper in my hot chocolate. You swear it's good? It's surprisingly good. So you would basically do the same thing. You would take milk, add it to hot chocolate, and use some dark chocolate with this one. Put in how much, however much cinnamon you want and your cayenne pepper. Okay. And it's excellent. How much cayenne pepper should we use here? Because I am a little nervous about putting I, pepper in my, <laughs> in my hot chocolate. I would do it to taste. Okay. Um, so just do it to taste oh. and stir it up and it would be just All right, just I'm gonna take a sip here up. and see. That actually does work. It is. It's like a good Mexican. All right, and you said we have one last station. One That's last a fun one. station. This one's fun. So here's your hot cocoa. Okay. And this is caramel. So that's half the fun. Look how messy it is. Oh, that kind of has a little aftertaste to Doesn't it. it? Yeah, that's it's a fabulous. Kick. I love it. So same thing. Start with milk, um, and you would add caramel. It's really messy, but <laughs> add some caramel. This one tastes better with milk chocolate. Okay. So put your milk chocolate in, and heavy cream makes it super exciting. And what does the heavy cream do? The heavy cream gives it a nice, thick, you know, just kind of um, uh, balances out the caramel. Well, this is definitely a win for me because I get three hot chocolates. And <laughs> thank you so much, Mallory. We're going to have all these recipes on 9news.com slash fix this. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, as we're heading over to sample and meet you guys, many of you send us pictures of your Christmas cookies. Uh, here are ones made by our nine news employees. Those are fabulous, making me hungry. Uh, we would love to see yours as well. Tweet a picture using hashtag fix this. We may feature your cookies during next week's episode of fix this. So Amanda, you can bring us cookies too. I think that would be okay, right? We don't mind sampling at all. <laughs> cookies bring us and hot all chocolate. The cookies. And speaking of hot chocolate, I think it's time to sample some of this. Okay. And we have a little bar set up here. So if you want to add some kind and pepper, which I swear is really good now, oh. and some sprinkles. And then I have these little orange sticks too. If you don't want to go and add orange into your hot chocolate, you can throw that in there. Here's some cayenne pepper for you, Becky. All right, I guess I'll, I'll be brave. You'll be the brave I think I'll one. Go straight. So I just put it on <laughs> top. I don't know. Yep, just sprinkle it on top. And stir. That's a lot of cayenne and then pepper. stir. <laughs> All right. All right. Mm. I'm sprinkling. Taste Ladies, it. taste oh, it. Oh, man, is that good. Uh, as we leave you, we want to show you the final versions of our smartphones. Mm -hmm. I think they turned out mm -hmm. fabulous. Something Look at that. <laughs> no, you look great. 
There you go. Very good she, day. Just a little whipped cream mustache. Mm. Have All a right. Great day. See you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye. Haley, I noticed that she needs a case. <laughs> 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 <laughs>